Hi guys, and welcome on back to another episode of Unorthor Blocks. We're going for a bit of a more traditional style here, in a way of a let's play. Uh, we're kind of just for the majority of this going to be looking around at things, because as you may notice, I've been quite busy building up more parts of the base and stuff like that in between episodes. Um, and I thought it'd just be good to sort of jump on and actually explain some of the things. So at the moment we're in our unalive skin and we need to fix this soon. We need to get back to life. So I'm going to need to build a Lazarus pit at some point. Um, I'm taking inspiration from the Batman series for that. So yeah, that should wind up looking pretty cool. It's going to take us a little while to get there because the location where I want to build it, uh, we haven't built anything for yet. So in between episodes, let me just get my gear back on. I have been pretty busy. I have literally just finished placing 8,000 blocks of sea lanterns. Uh, that is a lot of sea lanterns. It took maybe maybe about an hour actually. It wasn't really that long. Um, I need to return all these shulker boxes to Mighty High because he is the one who supplied us with said sea lanterns and I am now completely out of diamonds again so back to being the brokest guy on the server again that's me uh, but yeah so let's sort of talk about the base a little bit so obviously we got this central chamber here this is like the connecting hub and there's going to be another sort of floor to it on the same level as where that pillar ends there the sea lanterns are down here so that we can add the fog effect in I'm going to go for like a black and grey fog just to sort of make the make it look like it's an endless cave uh, like they've dug down really 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 deep probably too deep but maybe not deep enough to spawn a balrog because I don't know if I fancy trying to build a balrog but yeah let's talk about a few of the things that are going on with this build so we've got these little spruce trapdoor railway things going on and the idea of this is that we're going to have a bunch of farms about the place uh, within build and the minecarts are going to be able to take it from all the way where the farm is or wherever anything is we're going to have like item drop off points as well and it's going to bring it all to a centralized storage system which i have built up a temporary one now this is very big for a temporary storage situation but I wanted to get all of my items moved over here and yeah I've managed to sort of do that. I've organised all of the stuff that I have large amounts of and over here we just have like an overflow section um, where there is a lot of stuff within the overflow so basically we've got two, four, six, eight, ten chests of overflow items and that's still not all of the items that I have. Um, yeah so basically we're going to be building farms so if we come to this central area here I want to build up something pretty cool here uh, I was toying with the idea of building like a crystal like thing but I might not do that now uh, I might do something a bit different like maybe like a little flame pit like we have in the uh, mini game we was making at the entrance to that but yeah so looking at the sort of design for this, just to get all the lighting levels right, we've got some flames along the edge here, uh, just because I think it looks cool, and we have got some lanterns, just to cover the last bits of the lighting that's needed. And that makes all of this completely spawn proofed. I might put armor stands up on here. Uh, if I do, I want to get a bunch of chainmail armor and stuff like that and some weapons and that and we can get them in cool poses and sort of make them look like statues but I'm not entirely sure how that's going to pan out so if you let me know what you think about that then that'd be great. And up the top here, if I land on one, we've got these structural support beams, uh, obviously just to make the build look a little bit more sound. Wow. Well, this shade is pretty interesting. I've got the builder's shaders on at the moment because I thought I'd try something a bit different to the Silders ones, which I always use. And this actually helps light things up quite a bit more, so it does look pretty good. And we've got more space for minecarts to be able to travel around and that. So there's a chain that runs all the way along and uh, they go lengthways as well on some of them. So I think there's four going lengthways and one main one that goes all the way along. 
and yeah I think it does look really really cool so yeah this is basically what I've been up to uh, this took quite a long time I also had to completely move all of this again because for what maybe the fourth or fifth time on this gigantic build I was like one block out so that's uh, that's all great but yeah, this, this area is really starting to come together, it's starting to look pretty good. So going off in this direction, in this direction, we're going to build some like housing rooms and stuff like that. But essentially we're just going to have farms going off of those wings and the route downwards. And coming out the other end here, we're going to have like the, the king's antechamber or audience chamber. So we're going to have like a massive throw room. We're going to have a massive throne room and I've got like a really cool design for what I want to do for that. Uh, it's going to be another massive project to add to all of this. And on the other side of that, and this is what I mean, it's going to it's gonna take a little while to get to it. So we're going to be unalive for a fair while. But yeah, on the opposite side of it, there's also going to be our Lazarus pit and that should wind up looking pretty cool. Right, there are a lot of mobs spawning. I've got a lot of mob proofing to do around here. The shade is actually pretty cool. It works well at night as well, which is where a lot of shaders sort of fall short. But yeah, I've got more to show you. So I need to move on to the end portal project. So yeah, I probably need to sleep as well. So here we have our end portal project. Uh, I've still got a lot of digging to do. I need to clear all of the water here because essentially the actual portal itself is like right under here uh probably should be able to dig into it actually okay yeah let's not do that because we'll be digging for a while but yeah it's basically somewhere just underneath this bit here which is cool and you may notice i have finished our hot air balloon and i think it's got a pretty cool design it's a couple blocks i need to fill in when i eventually move that beacon but i'm not doing that just yet and this houses our this houses our never portal here. I just thought it'd be a bit more interesting. And did I really just do that? Of course I did. Uh, yeah, so this was actually a bit of a struggle. I did record a replay mod of it, but uh, replay mod did replay mod things and didn't really work properly. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Uh, yeah, and didn't really work properly. I need to get some potions of slow falling so I can take proper looks at things. But yeah, that's our hot air balloon. We've got green and cyan concrete there just to add like an interesting colour to it. Uh, yeah, I think this looks really, really cool. So still a lot of work to do here. We're not going to be touching on this today, but this is where our focus is going to shift in the next episode. And we're going to get a mass amount of work done here and get this sort of set up and actually ready to go. And as far as it goes, I think that's all I've really got to show you. But, you know, this is hours and hours of work. You know, I spent quite a long time trying to get this balloon to look right. Uh, the storage system in itself took a long time and then sorting all the items took a long time. And then, you know, rearranging the mistake on the build obviously took a long time basically that's a weird visual glitch isn't it <laughs> uh yeah so I've, I've spent a long time doing things so yeah and i think as well actually what would probably be good is if i introduced well not introduced if i uh mentioned some of the new members so you may have noticed in some of the little story mode type videos there have been some new members on the server that have sort of cropped up so our new members to the server we have and this is in no particular order we have draken who has been building some amazing stuff i've seen quite a bit of his stuff and you've seen him pop up in the in the last video where we pranked him we've actually pranked him twice so i expect another retaliation at some point um which I'm looking forward to. I mean, pranks are fun. As long as they're fun, it's fun. Um, yeah, so we've got Draken. We've got Ratdog, who also appeared in the last video. He was... He come to help during the Ender Dragon fights that we did, but I think he needed um, a bit more gear to be a bit better suited for the fight. So that was cool. We have the Neon Ghost, 
who I've not actually played online at the same time as yet, and I've not actually seen any of his builds. Uh, so, yeah, I will have links for everyone down in the description, so you'll have to go and check them all out. Um, we have also got Mighty Beard, who is yet to release an episode, but hopefully that will come soon. Uh, haven't managed to be on at the same time as him either. And we have Shelley Rooley, who is also new. We met her very, very briefly uh, when she died and needed a little bit of help. So I gave her a free elytra because that's the only bit of spare gear that I had on me. But yeah, they are the new members. I think for the time being, we're pretty much set for how many new people we're getting in. So yeah, it's really cool. It's, it's really nice to have a bunch of new people on and uh, it kind of feels like the server's sort of been reignited a little bit. We've also been doing a hell of a lot of these wheeler challenges lately. Um, I think our last episode I had like one of my favourite ones which was, if I pull it out of here, I think it's in my riches box, Frank Toberson 3D Frame Forge one. I, I thought that was a great challenge to get, so let's drop this one back in. I do still have another challenge in here that I've not been able to complete so far. And that's just because of timings. I've not been on the server at the same time as the person who I require to be on. But yeah, let's uh, let's grab another challenge, see if we get anything interesting. And we're not going to be doing this in this episode, I don't think. It will be for the next one. But yeah, let's see what we get. Ding, ding, ding. Bring a ghast into the overworld. Okay, well, cool. That is interesting. Um, I don't know where I'm going to send it to. I might, I might just set it up somewhere that people frequently fly past, so it can just sort of shoot at them and obviously make sure it doesn't hurt anybody. So yeah, that that should be an interesting challenge for us to do. Um, right. Next thing to talk about is these two builds here now we've got our record shop uh, which we kind of did do a little bit of talking about because we were still doing a little more standard episodes uh, but yeah I haven't had any orders here yet which is a bit of a shame because I would have liked to have worked on some actual bits and that like, these shaders are actually really cool it adds like a little blur effect through the glass and that actually looks really good there are some really cool designs for pianos I saw popping up on Reddit for a little while, so I may redesign this at some point. Um, but yeah, it, it would be good to get some orders on this one, because... Yep. Yep, there's that. Uh, yeah, because I do kind of feel like doing some note blocky stuff. Uh, could be a lot of fun, and I've bought a lot of note blocks off of Mighty High to do it with, so... Yeah, it would be would be good to do and up the top here we've got our little poker den now the idea of this is once we make enough diamonds out of this and enough people actually play it we're gonna expand this and create more casino games now as it stands so far no one has played it um, which is fine and there are more of these maps he said he'd uh, planted a load more around that I needed to find just got to appreciate, like, that really, really is amazing. It must have taken him a hell of a long time to do. And I thought my map took a long time to do. This one definitely would have taken a lot longer. But, yeah, this is a, it's a really simple system for how this works. This button here will draw us cards, and it will also shuffle all the rest of the cards. And the way that I've made the cards is with diamonds, emeralds, iron ingots and gold ingots and um, yeah each one's just been renamed to what it is so like this is the queen of diamonds and yeah there's a little pot here this is where you'd put your stake in uh, when you're playing and just on this red carpet here once the round is up all the cards just get chucked on there and it should make its way through and that's the system you heard all the clicking that is what shuffles all the cards round uh, via hoppers and uh, observers and droppers and yeah, it's, I mean it's a it's actually a fairly simple system. I actually used uh, gravity blocks to make it work, and you know it 
works fairly well. It does shuffle all the cards up and you push the button. And we get another card come through. And it's always a bit different. Originally I had a stair here, but for some reason the items just won't fall through the uh, the stair. It's just a little bit weird. Anyway, that's enough about this area. I do want to get back into building a few things around the sort of spawn area because, you know, it's nice building around here. You see more and more things popping up all the time, like Mighty's Massive Tower and Quick sneak peek at airship you know it's it's really really cool just seeing new builds springing up and as it stands i believe i am the furthest away from the main spawn man this shader pack is cool that that's because obviously all of this isn't flat lava that's made a really really awesome effect um yeah so i do want to do a few projects over here as well just to sort of bring us back into the thick of all of the building and I think something that we definitely need is an actual entryway into this little gaming district here and I also kind of feel like we should be changing the path up here because the path looks very very similar and it all looks kind of samey as the uh, the main spawn town area so I think it'd be quite nice if we could come up with a decent design for the path in here and probably just sort of helping to expand the area as at the moment there's not that much space to add more things uh, so you know like we, we could do little bits like chopping this down a little bit getting rid of this bit of mountain and flattening the ground down up here because then it will give people space to actually build things and we could also sort of get rid of this mountain area here but we have had a new game pop up and I don't know if this is ready yet uh, so I might just off. So I have just checked and yes this mini game is good to go so this was built by Mighty High uh, I know one section of this that has been made um, because I helped test it, it's just a parkour section. I'm not the best at parkour, but yeah, let's let's see how it goes. We might as well go in and give it a go. Does this door work? It does. Love piston doors. Right, so put inventory in chest, set spawn, and of course there's a book. Welcome to the Octo Puzzle. As the name suggests, there are eight different mini games for you to complete to unlock the hidden question. Before you start, an armor stand puzzle. Okay, so these are the games. So there's an armor stand puzzle, a parkour game, a gliding game, an archery game, a fishing game, a questionnaire, a maze, and a puzzle slash riddle. There is a strong possibility of death when playing some of these games, so it's advised to set your spawn. This game is completely, but not... Okay, it's complete, but not 100%. Any problems or questions, ask my high. Rules, you may not enter with anything, including elytra and armor tools and so on. Everything you need will be provided for you. This is to prevent any legal challenges from mighty high if death was to occur. Thank you and good luck. Cool, right, so let us just dump all of our stuff in this chest. And we're going to give this a bit of a go. So I've got a feeling that there might still be a little bit of work that needs doing on this. So uh, yeah, I'm actually going to jump out from here now. It's probably good that we come and did a test on it. But once this is up and ready to go, I'm really looking forward to actually giving it a proper go. There's no way out. How do I leave? <laughs> um... Okay, there's like an exit there. Let's let's see if that can just take us out if we run down and through that. That's if I can even get onto it. Uh, yeah, we can. So it's not raised up. Is this an exit? Yes, this looks like an exit. Definitely looks like an exit. Okay, yeah. So the one and not wanting to show too much of this off uh, I'll check back in and find out if it's all ready to go there's mighty now 
I mean to have a bit of a look at it. So we've also been given a mission for one of our IOUs, uh, which I know this because I watched their video and you should go off and watch it. Um, I think it was one of Forge One's videos. But basically him and Tobison built up this awesome little tower. It's kind of like their like headquarters for their businesses. And it looks really, really awesome. Uh, but they want a bit of landscaping work done on it and essentially they've paid me in 64 diamonds of which I have already spent a whole lot of them uh, because that's what I do, I get diamonds and spend every single one of them straight away uh, yeah basically to come along and sort of like do a little bit of work on the landscaping on the outside so I've got a few ideas for what I can do for this in mind I'm gonna have to ex and all of this grassland outwards for that um, just to sort of build what I'm thinking and hopefully it's sort of along the lines of what they want I should probably actually catch up with them and find out what it is that they want from it um, yeah so next episode maybe there's a few things I want to do next episode I don't want to give myself too many jobs to do so I might try and make the focus of the next episode actually working on this for them and then that'll give us a bit of a break from our two projects plus clearing out a load of water isn't exactly the most fun thing in the world to do but I'll try and get that done sort of in between episodes I really love this tree design it's like nice fairly straightforward and uh, small is the main point it's actually quite a small tree design which I find it really hard to make small custom trees. I tend to just go for the fence post technique, but yeah, this looks really cool. So yeah, we've got a bit of a style to work off of already for this. So we've got a little bit of a direction and yeah, I've got I've got a good idea for this. Uh, looks like Mighty's reset the games. I am gonna give them a proper go at some point. We're gonna run through and attempt to do the whole lot and yes trying to think of a clever way to end the video clever way to end the video bye you see that that is mighty high up there <laughs> oh no uh, i was too late Damn. <laughs> if I was just a little bit sooner, if I'd have done that without pushing the record button, he would have been coming down with it, but... <laughs> Missed opportunity.